<laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm eating a donut. <laughs> How's the donut? That's good. That's very good. Are you enjoying your donuts? Mm-hmm. I am. Um, they're from Walmart. Hell yeah. We just woke up and I had to poop. But remember, remember how the black water tank, you know? We even though we dumped it, it's still a fourth, a half full. I still have no idea if that's because the sensors are messed up or if that's because it's actually clogged or something. So I don't want to poop in it yet because there's a free dumping station here. So I pooped in the toilet. It was awesome. It was an awesome toilet. It's literally awesome. Look at my hair. It's so bad. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use the shower to make my hair not so nasty. <laughs> The water is still hot from last night. There is still oh. hot water in there from last night. That is crazy. The hot water heater lasts forever. It's like, it's insulated and everything, so. Hell yeah. Now I just need to let it dry and then I can fix it and make it look normal-ish. What's cool is on city water, it just runs. You don't even have to turn on the hot water pump or the hot water heater or, what am I saying? You don't even have to, you don't even have to turn on the water pump at all because the pressure that comes out of the city water connection is so strong, you don't need a water pump. It's nice to be able to take a shower like I did last night without having to worry about running out of water or anything like that. You just go for it, you know? I wonder how full the gray tank is because I did take a pretty long shower yesterday. It's only a fourth full, geez. I'm so excited because look what I got. Look what I got from Walmart. Are you excited? I already have one from Walmart. It's chocolate. Way better. What would you like to do this morning? Donuts. It's gonna be in the 60s today. 60s? After living in Florida, anything below 70 is cold. I love donuts. I think they're very good. Yum yum. Well, I think this trip has been a learning experience. We know now to like only do the, the all the preparation the day before rather than the day of. I thought we would get it done in time, but it didn't. It took way longer than we thought. We also learned how to start a fire with wet wood, so that's good. It took forever, but it worked. I think we should get some potatoes and make barbecue flavored lays. Like make them. Barbecue. I mean, lays have to turn from potatoes into lays somehow, right? How do they do it? Bake them on the fire. Is it not the same? Could you bake a cake on a fire? I've done that before. I think we've learned a lot. I've learned that my city water hookup does work, which is good. I've also learned that the microwave is kind of freaked up as well, because it should work fine when we're plugged in. It does turn on, unlike with the generator. I'll show you. I'll show you here. I actually, I turned it off on the breaker because it was really causing some issues, but I'll show you. Okay, microwave on. So when we flip that on, it does come on, right? But if we, if we try to do 10 seconds of time, right? Begin, it will go, but it kind of like, see, yeah, I, I don't think that's very safe to even have operational. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep it off. It probably just needs a new, you know, a new microwave. Probably just a microwave. Good morning, RV. Very nice, very sweet RV. There is just water everywhere and I don't know why that is, but that's interesting, we'll find out. It either will run or it won't. So that's how it goes, take a look. It is so weird to see it on, the, on those orange blocks. There are so many RVs all around, it's crazy. Are you a palm tree fan? Yeah, I see them all the time. See, everything else at this campsite looked like Kansas, but over here, it becomes California again. Look at that. We got the volleyball, you know? Look at this device. Oh, that's weird. Oh my god. Oh, this is fun. I like this. This is a, a called Cardio Walker, is this device name. I feel like I am a video game animation right now. Doing you the, look like one. The dumbest walk of all the time, <laughs> you know? A very stiff walk. But this is called the Cardio Walker. It's supposed to, you're supposed to get cardio, but I don't really feel much. I mean, it's, it doesn't really feel like I'm walking because like part of the energy of walking is propelling yourself forward, which you're not doing here. You're just kind of swinging your legs back and You'll forth. You'll probably feel it when you get off. I think you get more exercise from just walking, but this is fun. I will say this is fun. Look at this. The, the whole path is fine and like way up there is fine, but right here is just a giant single pile of bird poop, but there's not even a tree above it or anything. What the hell? It's like, it's, it's just right there. That's what the Lake of the Ozarks looks like. It has more coastline than the shore of California. That's crazy. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? We're going under a bridge. This is so crazy. There's like a highway above us or something. Is that a highway? This is so like surreal. We're inside of a, a thing here. What do you think of that? I think that's pretty fun. There's like cars above us. Crazy. Very crazy. <gasps> We're leaving the tunnel. What do you think? Why do you keep asking what I think? <laughs> what do you think? It's cool, I guess. I think I stepped on something. I think I stepped on poop or something. Is that poop? I think I stepped on it poop. Might be mud. This way it looks adventurous. This is very interesting. There's like a, a gutter system here. That's very strange. Don't you think so? It's something. 
pretty normal around here because, you know, it rains. Once or twice a year, yeah. There's California and there is grass. That's so weird looking. It looks like straight out of Florida or something. Somewhere where there's grass, like the east of the United oh States. Look at that. You have a fur meat there. Oh my gosh. This is so bizarre. I've not walked on grass in forever. Look at this. This is bizarre. Look at this. It looks like we're in freaking Kansas. Oh my, if you just look this way. Minus the palm tree. Okay, there's no palm trees in sight. This is, this is Kansas. Look at this. This is a neighborhood in Kansas. That's so weird. There's no grass in California. It's like, look behind yeah, you. There is, but it's right here, but okay. But like, the, when do you see grass like this in California? At Never. School. Never. At school. We have grass at school. <laughs> well, you have to pay $10,000 to see that grass. We have returned, very nice. I am determined to figure out whether my tank is clogged or not, my black tank. So we filled it up with water full. It's full of just water and pee and that's it right now. Just that, those two things. My thinking is filling it with water, that's gonna give it, you know, the water might push every, anything that's in there out. We're also gonna fill up the gray tank by having, you know, the kitchen sink running and the bathroom sink running at the same time. I wanna fill up the gray tank about, about halfway. Right now it's at a fourth. So we can flush out the tube that's used for the black tank as well. What are your oh, thoughts wow. on that? On what? On that. On what? On that. I don't know, man. I'm just looking at furry shit. All right, the gray tank is now half full, so I'm gonna shut off all my water here. Very good. We are now ready to go. Hell yeah. First thing I want to do is I want to unplug. I want to unplug the electricity. I'm gonna turn off the circuit breaker. That'll cut the power. Now it's safe to remove this, which you can just pull. Oh, that's really easy. Okay. Our surge protector did us well. Very good. Now I need to figure out where the hell to put the surge protector. I don't, I don't know. The actual connector from the RV is very hard to get in and out of things, but with enough, there we go. With enough force, you can, you can do it. So that's good. So weird having this long cable come out of the RV, but it works, which is good. I need to put this in, in a way that is not going to cause a mess for everything. Now we got that in there. Good. I did electric first because water could be a little bit, it can like leak onto the cable. I don't really want that. We're going to turn the water off. We're going to fill this thing up with water before we leave. Always smart to use your resources to your advantage. We'll need this open anyway to put the hose back, but this allows us to see the level of the, the water tank, which is always good. I'm going to remove this drain or this plug. Come on. There we go. There's a, there is a lot of pressure in there still because mm -hmm. it was connected to city water, but it shouldn't be that much. It should be fine. You undo it like that. Very good. Now that's just water. That's just pure water. So we'll put that in there and we'll fill up the tank. Why does it do that? Very exciting stuff, you know what I mean? Are you excited? I'm so excited. So excited, just like literally so excited. <laughs> we got water running. All my tanks will be full. That's a lot of weight. Good thing we're just driving to the dump station to dump all of it. You see how it's how it's leaking water? That means it's full now. So we're gonna turn that off and I'm gonna pull the hose out. And then we can now put this in the compartment. I'm gonna roll my sleeves up because this is dirty work right here. This is so dirty. The water, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, are you afraid? I'm so yourself. afraid. If we close this up, then it doesn't really matter if we dump the hose or not, because the hose will be connected to itself. So none of the water in the hose will even escape. So it won't leak everywhere. Which is good. And we just take this bundle, this bundle of love, and put it inside. Oh. Okay, well. Yeah, that closes. Now, see, this, this cap has, like, stuff on it, dirt on it. So you can just use the city water hookup to... Rinse it off, make sure there's no dirt that goes into your, your water, you know, you don't want that. You can just place the cap back on there. Water is locked. The water compartment is now locked as well. Locked and loaded. So the only thing left is to take this thing off of the leveling blocks. So we gotta build a ramp going down. I left these out here so that we can have a nice little ramp and see, I wanna put it a little bit in front so we can go onto it. Maybe this will be a slight disaster. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna find out is what we're gonna do. So that's basically, that's basically it. Okay, well. <laughs> See, my concern well, is that Tyler's gonna touch this and it's gonna flip these mm -hmm. out from under it. But this isn't too big of a fall for it, so. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. It's a learning experience. All right. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Good. That's how you D-level an RV. Now we're gonna walk around after I lock this and just make sure that everything is good. You always wanna walk around before leaving. Propane needs to be off. 
I can't believe they took my yellow cap and didn't put it back on. They took it off and did not put the yellow cap back on. That is very weird. So we're gonna have to go this way. Yeah, that's All fine. the way around the dump station because my, my dump tanks yeah. are on the side anyway. Uh, which way do I go? This way? Uh, I guess. See, even driving around the campsite, we got this water in the black tank sloshing around and it's mixing with the poop and the pee, but there's no poop in there, but there might be poop in there that's clogging it. So we can just allow this to like slosh around and hopefully try to like clean out the tank or try to dislodge whatever is stuck in there as we, as we go around here. Yep, it's all just water, but it's flowing. Yeah. So it's not clogged. That's good. That's very okay. good. We're on our way back from from the, the camping trip. What did you think of it? Was it fun? It was very fun. I thought it was a good time. We should go longer next time, I think. But we learned a lot of lessons, and a lot of things were learned, and lessons have been taught to us, in which our brains have received the lessons from within those knowledges. That's great. Yeah, now we just gotta get this thing back mm -hmm. into your backyard. Oh god. Without hit running into the fence. Again. Yeah.